One year ago tomorrow, father-to-be Andrew Combs was gunned down at a Sunoco gas station. It happened at the location on West Broad Street. Columbus police say Combs tried to stop a robbery, but the suspect shot and killed him. Now his family is suing the gas station, claiming the business did not do enough to maintain safety. In a story you'll only see here on 10 TV, Lacey Chris speaks with Combs' family. Combs family tells me they want to make sure Andrew is remembered and that his life mattered. They also want to send a message to the business community that safety and security is important. Andrew's life was tragically taken right in front of my eyes um, while I was 19 weeks pregnant. It was some pain that it was a lot on me and it took my whole life away. December 13th, 2022. Andrew Combs and his pregnant fiance, Victoria Perez, stopped at this gas station on the way home from Christmas shopping. Combs tried to stop a robbery, but he was shot and killed. It's been a hard year, a really hard year. Two teens, Drayton Johnson, who was 16 at the time, and William Armstead Jr., who was 17 at the time, have been arrested and charged in connection to Combs' death. Both are waiting to hear if they will be tried as adults. But Combs' family oh, argues in a lawsuit the gas That's station should I also be held accountable. According to a lawsuit that will be filed on the anniversary of Combs' death, Perez believes gas station workers did not do enough to help Combs. Where was you when Andrew was lying defenseless on the ground? You were still in your store. You didn't even call 911. I had to do that, and I had to be the one on the ground trying to save his life, and that traumatized me. Attorneys for Combs' family argue that Sunoco location had numerous reports of criminal activity and are claiming in the lawsuit the company's gross negligence and recklessness in failing to provide adequate security measures at the subject property. It's about sending a message to businesses in this community that you need to keep your property safe and free of crime and the family doesn't want something like this to happen again somewhere else. Attorney Jonathan Bond says it's also about providing a financial future to now seven-month-old baby Kaiser, who will never meet his father. We want to see justice for Andrew. Andrew's life mattered. It did. He, he was um, just on the verge of so many great things. And I still grieve every day, and I don't think that's ever going to change. But I just, I really want justice. And we reached out to Sunoco for a comment. We have not heard back. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.